Good evening, everyone, and welcome to a quick breaking slash critical news update. Two topics that I want to discuss quickly for you and bring a little clarity to. Number one is Ukraine's strike with 100 plus drones into the Tversko Oblast where they hit critical supplies of Iskander missiles and munition depots. And I know that the propaganda is out there that, oh, it was just a grass fire. We, we shot them down and then there was a, an explosion. Listen, Ukraine hit the target. There's plenty of video to prove that. I do, instead of showing that video, I'm sure you have seen it. Starsky did a great update on this and I know Professor Gerdes did and others did, but right now, I want to talk just for a moment about that strike. It is critically important that we understand that that region is quite a distance away from the Ukrainian border. This is a serious strike and a serious attack in a point in time where Zelensky is talking about having the victory plan ready, the movement in Kursk region where it seems that potentially Ukraine has stabilized, and also in Pokrovsk where, to be honest, we are struggling a bit. And at this point in time, Ukraine does this massive strike that is very successful into the Tversk Oblast. What is interesting is, I do not know if you have seen this today, tonight, but I want you to take a peek at this. I've translated this for you. This is the administration there in the Tversk Oblast. Hmm, no reason to panic. Check this out. Today, Russian air defense systems intercepted unmanned aerial vehicles entering our airspace. The drones were shot down. Their crash caused a fire. We're now evacuating residents and maintaining public order. It's a joint effort today. Emergency services, local officials, police, National Guard, prosecutors, investigators, and military are all on site working as planned. The bottom line is... How about a little panic? They've got every person on the planet there working to figure out what happened in regard to that successful strike of Ukraine. So that, my friends, is good news. Now, for the critical and breaking news, we are now experiencing right now, as the time of this recording, it is 9.07 p.m. in Ukraine. So 2.07 Eastern Standard Time and wherever you're at, I'm going to get this video up as quickly as possible. We're in the third wave of attack in Israel against Hezbollah using <laughs> beepers, cell phones, and radio communications. Now, I do not want to get into a political discussion uh, in regard to your viewpoints on this war. That's not what this critical breaking news update is about. There are two things, though, that connects it to Ukraine. Number one, Vladimir Putin came out within the last hour or so condemning the Israeli attacks through uh, the beepers and the cell phones and the radio units and calling them terroristic activities and using war, using instruments of war that are not proper. Hmm. Let's see, what is going on in Ukraine? I think he has no room to speak about any terroristic activity anywhere in the world. I don't care if he's speaking to Israel, speaking to Hezbollah, or speaking to the Sudanese army in Africa. It doesn't matter. Uh, sorry, but that's not the key point. The key point is this. Please like, share, comment on this video because what I'm getting ready to share with you now affects Ukraine, affects Russia, and affects the entire world. I want to remind you guys, 1945, the United States dropped two nuclear bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. And that day, the world changed forever. Nuclear bombs were dropped and they ended the war in the Pacific. But it brought us into a new age of a different type of warfare. And even right now, Vladimir, Zelensky, Vladimir Putin excuse me, is holding that terroristic nuclear threat over Ukraine and over the West as he tries to weasel his way into the next phase of this war in Ukraine. Now, if we come into the warfare that was happening during uh, Operation Desert Storm, the beginning of drone warfare, and now this war in Ukraine, 
massive drone warfare, massive electronic warfare. It's almost like a new chapter of warfare has begun. I've talked to many friends on the front lines, many, many soldiers on the front lines, and they, says, Greg, they say, Greg, I really don't need bullets. I need drones. This is a drone war. This is really not a, a, a bullet war. Yes, it's artillery. Yes, it is long-range missile strikes from Russia against us and us returning the strongest way we can with the supply that we have and also modifying our drones for long-range strikes as we've seen here in the Tverska Oblast. But in reality, it is a short-range drone war, FPVs. I can tell you just a couple of nights ago, Zhenya, Rick, myself, and Roma with us. We're riding down the road. We're in the Pokrovsk area. And guys, I'm telling you right now, we're riding along. The roads are terrible. We have a diesel engine in our truck, and we're just flying, flying along the road, trying to get to a safer place. And guys, I'm telling you, this is what we heard. And I said, whoa, Jania. I rolled the window down. Didn't have to. The Shahid drone was right there, right above our head. Warfare has changed. And thank God we were safe. It kept moving on. Just a few minutes later, we did see an explosion off in the distance as the sky lit up. Whether it was that Shahid drone or not, I do not know. But guys, warfare has changed. But today... Why Israel? Why am I talking about this in regard to Ukraine and Russia? We want to focus on that. But the truth is, warfare changed forever today. You do not have to be a prophet. You do not have to be Nostradamus. But my friends, today, many, I think it's up to 14 right now, were killed, Hezbollah. And hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands, were wounded. And please hear me. Not one bullet was fired. This was done through an electronic warfare with these chips and explosive devices in these uh, pagers, in these cell phones, in these radio devices. It instantly makes me begin to think about all of the electronic warfare that's happening inside of Ukraine. I know Putin came out and condemned it. What a, what a pathetic just disregard that, especially calling it terroristic activity when he's the world's greatest terrorist. But I promise you, he's sitting there going, hmm, that's a good idea. So my friends, looking back, World War II, nuclear bomb, the last 20 years plus with the development of drone warfare. But today, warfare changed again. Who would have thought, who would have thought that this kind of attack could happen through cell phones, through pagers, and through radio communication devices. I have lots of friends in Israel talking to them and paying attention to them right now, and the attacks are still going on. So guys, make sure that you pay attention to today, because today, whether it's in regard to Israel and Hezbollah and Hamas, and Iran, and remember the Iranian, Russian, Chinese, North Korean connection, that axis of evil? Today, my friends, warfare changed. And I'm not being, uh, not trying to be a soothsayer, but this is absolutely obvious. Pay attention as we see what develops next in the war in Ukraine and also what is happening in the Middle East. You guys have a great night. Thank you. Appreciate you.